that wrong. Uh, first and last name, we know who you are, but just say first Ed and last name. Ed Smart. Okay. And your first and last I'm name? Amadre Vispar. Okay, so you, what, 3,500 miles? Is the, well, the, we, the whole trip is about 3,500 miles. We're traveling probably about just under 2,000 of that. Not one more child. Not here, not anywhere. Not one more child. I that my training's been uphill. So I'm a lot more used to it. Ahmad only has flat and kind of rolling hills out where he's at, so She was playing in the back uh, yard, the schoolyard, which is directly behind my house. And uh, I had just called each child by name. They were having a good time and everything was fine. I felt no alarm. Ten minutes later, I saw them over at another set of swings about another hundred feet away. They're not allowed to go that far, so I called my son, my oldest, Justin, come home. And he came running without the other two children, Rachel and Nathan. Mm -hmm. And so I said, go get the other children. And he ran back. And when he came back, all he had was Nathan. And he said, Mommy, I have some bad news to tell you. And I said, what, honey? And he said, Rachel's in a car. I said, whose car? And he said, a blue car. And I said, what car? And he said, a black man. He, he said, do you want some candy? And she came. And got in the car with him, or did he pull her in? Pull her in. Finally, by looking at the child's teeth, Rachel's parents were able to say it was their daughter. The search now turns to her killer. There are no solid leads. Rachel Runyon will be buried Thursday. I think the main thing is it's about your child and to honor your child and to really give them back their voice that they no longer have and, and um, trust your gut feeling if, if something doesn't feel right in, as far as the investigation, as far as you know, prosecuting teams, keep, keep reaching out and, and find your own answers if you're not satisfied with any part that doesn't feel right, whatever it may be, stay the course for, for your child. Drew's family released new home video showing her mugging for the camera and speaking at her high school graduation. The charge is a class A felony. Possible penalty could be 20 years in prison and $10,000 fine. Do you understand that? Rodriguez did not enter a plea. The courtroom was packed with the missing girl's family and friends. Many held hands, their eyes welling up with tears as the prosecutor called the three-time convicted rapist a danger to society and asked for $5 million bail. Adam Walsh Act is all about accountability of sex offenders. We hear about some out there, and we hear about children that are being horrendously abused by them. The sex offender registries across the United States, the man who kidnapped and named my two children, left them to die, would have been a registered sex offender in many states. 
and the National Sex Offender Registry, getting all of our states to comply with SORNA. When we would bump into each other as, as surviving parents in Washington, D.C., we were advocating for the Adam Walsh Act because it lays the foundation. Jersey. I want to get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at ours, they're kind of stinky. Yeah, really stinky. <laughs> give, it, give me the sound, but it's day whatever, Sacramento. Day 25th, Sacramento, California. Day 26, Sacramento, California. Day 26, Sacramento, California. There you go. Someday, <laughs> Sacramento, California. <laughs> One day. One day. I was supposed to have a favorite grandchild, but Tommy was the golden child. And I, she made you promise to put her next to him? I kept my promise to her. But during the uh, spring, I come down and I plant bulbs and flowers, and I told the boys when they were little the story of the resurrection by using daffodil bulbs. And the bulbs did and it's planted in the ground like Jesus was planted in the ground. But in the spring times, like Jesus rose from the dead, the flower will grow again. So that's how I explained the resurrection. We went out there and we planted bulbs mm -hmm. together, and every year at Easter time, you know, they would come up. And I was down here planting bulbs, and had forgotten about the story, and it just hit me. It's come full circle. Mm -hmm. So every year when the flowers start blooming again, that blessed promise that I'm going to see him again. Yeah. Thousand seagulls in a football field Thousands of voices trying to yield to the way they You work for peanuts. Come <laughs> on. The way the <laughs> Nothing wrong with working for peanuts. Mothers and children walking hand in hand. Thousands of miles. <laughs> <laughs> it was two in the morning. Phone rang. South Korea. And I'm thinking it's just breakfast time, it's time to get up. Erica, my oldest daughter, and I were planning to shop to drop because there's no shopping like Korea. So, phone rang, she answers the phone. I'm, you know, I have a, like, going to brush the teeth. And she says, Mom, we have to go take a phone call, come on. And I'm going, I'm in my pajamas for Pete's sakes. I have to get dressed. So hurry up. And I mean, it's very presumptuous. So I'm like, all right, chill. So I get dressed, 
We go down to the car, absolute silence. She takes the phone and she's just grunting. Mm. Yeah. She pulls out a pad and she starts writing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And she just thrusts the phone at me. And I'm going, what? So I say hello. And it's Robin, my second daughter in the line. And she says, uh, Mom? I go, yeah, there's silence. And I go, Robin? Mom, you talk to me. There's silence. And so I put on my, my most calming mommy voice. Robin, this is your mother. Speak to me. There's nothing in I thought. And it was after 9-11, I thought they bombed West Point. And I know Robin's okay, but you know, it's probably friends, etc. So, still there's this stony silence. So, finally this woman comes on the phone. Um, but this woman is, is very patient. And she keeps telling me over and over and over again. And I swear to God, it sounded like a virgin. What? 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 Until finally she got me to understand what had happened. And at that point in my life, technicolor. We had a little brother of four who was left behind. We were taken to a, a nearby wooded area by an, a man we knew well. And I was raped. And both Sarah and I were left for dead in, in the woods. Um, this man had cut our throats and I was there lying waiting for this man to leave as I played dead to keep myself from being indefinitely killed by this man listening to my sister scream and cry. Um, after he ran away like a coward and left the woods, I got up and I looked over at my sister. And at this point, I didn't feel any more pain. But when I looked at my sister and I knew by the look of her, that I was going to have to walk out of those woods without her. You like me or you don't You love me or you just won't on the same page or not You told me you're just too hot You support me in the truth But you're tangled up in our youth You're in or you're out Or you're just me